Today, we're going to be going over my monthly finals matches versus Tribe Gaming. We haven't played them in two years in a monthly final, so this was a very highly anticipated match, and I had a lot of fun in it. So let's get to the match, and let's show you guys what happened. So going into game number one, we have the comp Tick, Mandy, and Ape, and Tribe has Gene, Nani, and Max. Now, Tribe is a very good team, especially when it comes to, you know, holding range and staying, you know, far away from the other team. So when we were getting into this match and we saw Shooting Star Bounty set number one, we were originally pretty scared of what Tribe is going to do and, you know, how easy it is for them to play this map. But then we kind of realized that if we can make them run at us rather than us run at them, we should normally have an easier time. So we took two passive brawlers. You guys can see we trade kills at the start, but we do have the blue star and we do have the lead right now. And we do get our ape bit turret. So here we can kind of just set up, sit still, and just do our thing. You know, Mandy in an ape bit turret is really good. We love doing this ape bit strat all the time. We do it at Worlds. We did it at LCQ, I think. We did it twice in this monthly final. Not twice against Tribe, but twice in the monthly final. And it's just really good. We just sit here with the damage 8-bit turret, and it's really hard for the opponent team to push us. I mean, we just do a ton of damage. You guys can see right now, Tribe is, like, I wouldn't say lost, but almost, like, helpless. Like, there's not really anything they can do. We have a Mandy that shoots so far. Like, I don't know how many tiles it is. We have an 8-bit that does an insane amount of damage, and then a Tick that does, like, 1.5k a shot or something like that. It's absolutely ridiculous, so... Tribe is doing their very best, but I don't think they have anything to take out our turret, which makes it a really easy game for us. 14-2 right now. It doesn't really get any better for them, this game. It's just, you know, pretty free win for us. This game is over. They don't get a kill. Let's go into game number two. So going into game number two, Tribe made a really good adjustment. They realized they needed the blue star. We also realized we needed the blue star, so we spammed it, but... We weren't able to get any kills or anything. We want to keep me, the Mandy, off the Nani because the Nani does a lot of damage and the return to sender basically totally neutralizes anything that Mandy can do. So we put me on the Gene, but we're in a, a really weird spot right here. But we know, you know, once we get that turret set up, there's nothing that Tribe could really do to us. But the issue is this time we're pushing into them. They're not pushing into us. So Zara's doing a really good job with Tick. He's kind of just holding his ground, doing whatever. And we're doing really good at just slowly pushing our way in. You know, a big struggle that we have in Bounty is normally that when we play Bounty, we just die for no reason and we give the other team a lot of stars for free. Here you guys can see, you know, we're really taking our time. You know, it's been a minute into this game. They got the blue star. We haven't died. We haven't, you know, pushed over aggressive. We're kind of just waiting for my super, for Zara to get good positioning, for Sans to get a turret. And, you know, good for us for, for playing a little bit passive here. So they get a speed. Uh, the speed doesn't really do anything. They get a little bit of map position, but the only scary one here is really Tyrant with that pull, so that's totally fine. Sans also gets his turret, so at this point, we're like kind of set up. 40 seconds is still a lot of time to do our thing, so we have a big turret now. It's set up in a spot where they can't really take it out unless they use a Nani head or a Gene pull. I have my slow gadgets cooked up where I'm just going to try and slow someone and get the kill. Tyrant with a really interesting play there to pull the turret. Sans then teleports up and it just creates like total chaos. We are able to get a kill. I try and body block that head, but Izlivi makes a really great play to go around me and then hit Sans, which it's a little bit difficult for Sans to get out of the way because he is just a slow 8-bit. And here we know we only need one kill. So we're trying to do our thing. Zulan's going a little bit aggressive here. So I try and catch him out, but really good juke by him over there to, you know, not get hit by the Mandy super. We all target the Gene, but unfortunately they're moving a little bit too fast. They're hitting a couple too many shots. And that's going to be game two for them. Going into game three, we kind of realize the blue star is really important. Zara gets really aggressive there. And honestly, it would have worked, but the Nani like hit, I think three different bullets on him. And unfortunately, Sans isn't able to trade out any um shots with the nani and get his turret so that puts us in a really weird position here where they have the lead and you know we're not really that close to turret and it's kind of like last game where you know things just aren't looking all that great right now but at the same time you know we do have them in a decent spot and you know we're just slowly chipping away we're slowly making our moves that was a really bad tick head by czar because it hits sands and he wastes his tick head so that's just i don't know that wasn't the greatest play of all time uh, Tyrant gets his pull. I hit a nice little slow over there on his Livy, so we're able to get him down. But here, we're kind of caught out. We're winning by two stars, so either me or Zar can die, and I know that. So I go to body block the pull, but then Sans puts down his turret. And my life, like, sure, dying isn't, like, important not to die, but, like, that turret is worth, like, five of me. Like, once we have that turret down, we're in such a good spot. So we push up the map here and, like, stay really, really aggressive to try and keep this turret here. And we tell Zard just focus his Libby. Don't let his Libby take out the turret. We're going to do our best to keep it up. 
but i mean we're really not in a good spot here because i you know like basically killed myself in exchange for that turret but then we waste the turret so it's kind of like oh you know we're not in a great spot here so 30 seconds left they have us in the back of the map we're not close to turret at all i just wasted my super and gene has pull nani has head like it's honestly just a horrible position so i go up i body block that uh nani head good body block zara uses his tick head really early and he somehow already gets it back i don't know how he does but that makes tyrant pull and then this is just a mess like sans is one shot i'm one shot i have two people shooting at me as livy's shooting at sans somehow nobody dies i don't know how and i get up i start screaming like that was crazy that was a crazy crazy first set i have no clue how we won that one tribe did definitely choke the end of that game so going into set number two we have some wild comps here so we have amber rosa and gray which is in like a really weird comp we had absolutely no plan of glow of going this like we did not want to go this going into game day and they have byron melody and shelly so i actually really like their comp a couple weird things is tyrant was on band-aid shelly into a tank and a gray which is really weird considering you know the slow shelly would have gotten a lot of value but they have a healer one of the best anti-tanks and melody so i think they have a really good comp and then we have gray rosa and amber so our comp is also okay but to be honest i do kind of prefer theirs i think they just got the wrong shelly star power for the matchup but once we get gray teleport like we're pretty up good sans gets a nice kill over there everyone on the team is doing their job and we're just gonna you know just go in over and over that's kind of our job at this point as a rosa and as an amber with the gray tp is we just want to cause as many issues as possible they did do a good job at not giving Zar his teleport for a really long time. So they had like a 30% lead, I think, at one point in this game. But then we just keep going in over and over. And it's like, even though Tyrant Pops is hypercharged, and even though they're gadgeting me, supering me, doing everything they can, like, we're still in the zone. And for some reason, uh, is Livion Byron is healing himself and Tyrant, but like, they're outside of the zone. They're not dealing with people in the zone. Zar takes the TP there, which I don't really love, because then that blocks me from using it. They still have a lead, so... It's getting really close here, but obviously once we get that teleport down, we do come closer. Somehow Tyrant uses like three Shelly Supers on me there and dies, and then Sans TPs in, cleans up. Zara uses the TP that he had, cleans up as well, and that is going to be game number one. So I do think, you know, the comps are a little bit weird here. Like, we did not practice this at all. This is not what we wanted to go. But when we saw they went Byron and Melody, this is kind of like the only chance we had at beating that was just to run it down and hope they play it poorly. So going into game number two, uh, we wanted to have a little bit of a better start. So I use a slow. Uh, Zar misses the TP and Tyrant uses a really early gadget. Zulon makes a really good play of going onto the gray and taking, it, taking him out really quickly. At this point, like this is a really good start for them. And all we need right now is a teleport. Like if we can get a teleport right now, we're up good. But Zara is just getting, like, actually tapped. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, is Libby's going crazy. Zara's getting tapped. And then Zulan keeps coming in last second and just, like, hitting kills. Or not hitting kills. Sorry, getting kills. So they're playing this amazing. They already have a 20% lead. And we have, like, we're not close at all to getting in the zone. They get, like, a 30% lead here. And then we finally get in the zone. We kind of get set up. And now we start to kind of, you know, take it down a little bit and start to wear them down. So I'm on slow Rosa. So I don't know if Sand should necessarily be bu burning those bushes. But, I mean, he does. I'm going to slow Tyrant over there, which also gets him burnt. And then I use, like, he supered me twice with hypercharge. But I'm just running in his face. Like, it's such a dumb comp. But, like, they can't kill us. Like, unless you're on slow Shelly. There's no way you can get the kill, and honestly, I don't know why they weren't on, or why Tyrant wasn't on slow Shelly, but he chose Band-Aid. Um, and I'm just, like, existing. Like, I know I'm not going to get a kill with this Rosa Super, but I'm just existing in the zone. That was, like, a perfect swap between me and Sans, because it gives me HP. Sans is able to get a kill. I distract a couple of them while Sans is going absolutely crazy. Zara with a really good teleport there. It's really important that he doesn't waste his teleports, or else we kind of lose the game. But that was a perfectly used teleport by him. And then we go in together... And I think we're just too much for them to handle. I mean, there's just way too much HP once we get everything set up and everything done. Again, I think Slow Shelly would have been a lot better for them. And they probably could have won with Slow Shelly. It would be interesting. I think if we redid this, like, in a scrim, for example, and we said, okay, let's try this again. I do honestly think they would win. 
but we executed that game plan, whatever. I, w I don't even want to say strategy because it wasn't our strategy really well. And we take the 2 nothing lead. So going into set number three, we have Sandy, Pam, and Jesse, and they have Surge, Max, and Carl. So I actually really like their comp here. I'm not going to lie. Surge 2-3 is one of the best brawlers in the game. And we first picked Sandy. They took Max Surge into it, which makes it really hard for us to run into them. We can't, so we had to play more passive brawlers. Uh, we decided to play Pam and Jesse, but I mean, this is a tough, tough game for us. I'm not going to lie. Um, they have a really nice comp. No, we don't really have any Carl counters. I mean, the Surge just kind of feasts on our comp, to be honest. So it's not like we can't win. We still have a decent comp. Like Pam and Jesse and Sandy are more than capable of winning anything. Um, especially when we have Sands on Sandy. Like Sands is known for that Sandy. So, you know, we got him on his brawler. Uh, but they took a really early 6 nothing lead. We finally get one turret out. So the thing is here, like, although I do like the matchups this team has, as we, me and Zar get a kill on Tyrant over there, they can't really take out turrets. Like, the way this map is constructed and how there's, like, a little, you know, there's kind of, like, four weird corners because it's a box, it's really difficult to take out turrets, especially when you're playing brawlers such as Max or Surge, which don't really peak all that well. The Carl can obviously do so really easily, but... Not really the other two. So we're able to get five gems just because we get inside placement in the middle. And, you know, we don't have really position right now, but Sans wins that left side. We have a turret that I'm able to put down that doesn't let Carl heal up because I have the damage star power. And we're kind of set up here. I have vision gear, obviously. So we got that turret set up. So anytime anyone's around that turret, we just slow. And you guys can see as Livy trying to shoot it, he takes three clips at the turret and he hits zero shots. Like, it's... You can hit it, but it's so difficult to hit. Like, I've thrown games trying to hit turrets, and I just can't do it. Tyrant makes an aggressive play on me. I probably shouldn't have done that, um, but I challenged him, and I won. Zar at the same time gets a kill, and then Sans gets his Sandy Hypercharge. So, although they were up 6-0, we make a really, really, really nice comeback, and we get 10 of the next 11 gems, and we're set up really good. Like, you know, now we win this game. We're up two sets. You know, we're on match point now, and this is not how we imagine our match versus Tribe to go. I mean, Tribe has been one of, if not the best team in our region for years and years and years and years. And we're trying to, like, decide what to do at the start because, to be honest, we don't think we should have won that game. Carl gets to the mid for free really easily. On top of that, Tyrant is one of the best Carls, like, in the world. So it's just a really kind of weird thing to play this when you win, but you don't think you're supposed to win. But going into game two, we decided to change it up a little bit. We tell Sans to go on the right side because, you know, we thought maybe someone would be on the right side and Sans didn't really like the Surge matchup. He switches and then Surge pops a good gadget and he's able to get some vision on Sans and Sans is kind of trapped. I take Carl's ammo and I get good mid position, but I think it's more important that Sans is a good start, to be honest. Zulon gets his level right there and I go down. Zar is doing his thing in the middle, but unfortunately he also goes down and Sans just runs straight for the middle. So on this map, I mean, if you have the middle of the box, you're good. You're fine. But unfortunately, it's really difficult for us to just like get set up. Like Sans will go in, I'll go in, Zar will go in, but we can't just get set up this game. And, you know, they're doing a really good job at keeping us out because we do have a lot of HP and they do have to hit a lot of shots in order to get us down. So really, you know, well played on their end, especially with Max. It doesn't really do all that much damage, uh, but they're winning 9-1. Like they're doing a really good job. We don't even have a Sandy Super or anything. I don't think Zara's gotten a Jesse turret either this game. So this has just been a big struggle of a game. But then, you know, we get in the middle and we saw what happened last time when we got in the middle. So we got Tyrant right over here. Me and Zara go for the pinch. I probably should have taken Tyrant's ammo there because if I take his ammo, he can't flying hook out, which in my head at the time, I remember I was like, you know, I'm not going to take his ammo because he's just going to flying hook out. But then if he doesn't have any ammo, he can't do that. So I was kind of silly by me. But regardless, it's 5-9 now. We're in a good spot. And then I overcommit. I make a really dumb play when Tyrant was one away from super and he's able to get the kill over there. And then that kind of ruins this game because we were in the box. We could have won this. They were stuck in spawn. And they already used their max hypercharge. So it's not like they had a crazy big thing coming at us. So that was kind of dumb by me. But that is going to give them game number two. And that, you know, gives them some life. You know, that gives them a chance. I don't know how they were feeling at the time. But if, if that was us, I'd be like, all right, like, this is our chance. Like, let's take it one set at a time. We need one more game. And they played that pretty perfectly. So going into the next game, we kind of figured out that we just need to get set up one time. So we're going to send, we're going to send Sans to the left side like he went game one just because he can get there a lot quicker. And then I said, you know what? I'm kind of tired of going mid. I don't think I should be mid. I'm going to go lane. So the reason I go lane is because I think I could just like hold a lane better. And I think I can get more super being on a lane. 
But, I mean, Tyrant just, like, walks all over me. I mean, he, like, he went right in the inside, and I didn't stand a chance against that. Zulon also getting some levels really early on. Sans is doing a fantastic job. Like, I don't know what it is about Sandy with Sans, but this dude is just so good at it. Like, this is not a good Sandy game. Like, it really isn't. But he's able to get his super really fast. That super is going to allow us to get into the middle, I think, if I remember correctly. And he's just wiggling. Like, even though... He didn't get any hits with that necessarily like look at where we are now now they're in their spawn and we're in their face so now just like the other game we just need some turrets and we just need to get set up so i'm just holding the lane i'm just trying to keep vision on tyrant and not feed him any supers just because like like we just can't stop bro there's just nothing we can do once he gets a super so czar makes a really good play there he puts his turret down um unfortunately sans does go down and this is their chance to get some gems i don't really know where to put my turret i hate putting turrets on another turret but i just do it anyways because like why not and i'm just gonna keep vision on tyrant really good slow there by uh czar tyrant wastes his super there and then once tyrant wastes his super like we are in a really good spot sans is like kind of not playing his greatest this game like he did like the most important thing to get us back in the middle but once we've been back in the middle zulon's done a really good job at just hitting shots and not getting hit but at the same time like does that even help them if you know we're in the inside and we're collecting every gem i'm not sure but you guys can see uh the max is kind of having a hard time because the max can't really hit our turret um i think maybe tyrant should have swapped over and just taken out our turrets and maybe the max go lane but they get put in a weird spot sans gets a sandy hypercharge there's just too much going on sans gets a kill i get a kill we win i don't know and that's the end of it and that was a really 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 big match for us because if we lost that match like we're not making worlds like it's over it's done you know we there's no point of even trying for us anymore because if we lose that we are so far back that it doesn't even matter